This is called Duplicate It. I got mine at Micromart. It's great for cutting sections in heights or widths, depending on what you need. That way everything can match. You can just make your first cut, cut off that piece, slide the piece in again, and you know the next piece is going to match exactly. The large flat steel piece slides in that thing, and then there's two clamps on the side that hold that in place while you make your cuts. And then a third, bar, the bar clamp, goes down on top of the piece you're cutting and holds that in place to make sure it doesn't slide as well. I use these pieces all the time. I love them. They're the little right way, 90 degree angle makers. Um, great for adjoining walls together and whatnot. I have them in both sizes, HO and in scale. And it's real simple. You just put your two pieces of flat stock in either side of the jig. They're magnetic. They hold them together. And then even when you add the, I use a lot of 1. 0.125 by 0.125 square stock in the corners there's actually a cutout on the inside piece that allows that square to go right through this is another method i use for 90 degree corners the, it's just a simple steel square. I have it in two, three, four, and five inch sizes. It's a real simple fixture to use. You just put your pieces against it and apply your adhesive and then you just need to hold it there until your adhesive drives enough to, to hold it in place. This is the Chopper by Northwest Shortline. I used to make all sorts of straight cuts. It comes with little jigs that'll give you a 90 degree or 35, 30 degree or 45 degree cut, 60 degree cut, stuff like that. That way you can always get the same exact cut. You can put the jig on the thing. It's got a lockdown clamp for it. And then it's gonna make you perfect cuts each time. A few more tools that you're going to have to have uh, is a ruler and then a scale ruler. I've got a ruler with cork back to hold the piece real well while I make my cuts and then the scale ruler to make all my measurements. I use these two angle pieces by X-Acto to make quick cuts 90 degrees and when I'm drafting. For all these projects you got to have a nice sharp hobby knife. I keep multiple on the table just in case I break one when I'm working on something so I don't immediately have to change the blade enough blades for all the blades you'll dole or break while working on projects. I have lots of these little Xeron hand tools. I have pliers and flush cutters and nippers and all sorts of stuff and they all have different uses. Working in InScale always has tons of small parts so this assortment of tweezers really helps me with whatever I might need. After I cut my parts there's some imperfections so this sanding stick really helps me clean up the edges before I glue them together. Giveaway time. Uh, you can win one of two items. The first item is the InScale Microtrains Undecorated Boxcar. The second item is an HO Scale Illinois Central Boxcar. Here's the information. First thing you gotta do, you gotta be a subscriber. Number two, I just wanna know what line you model. Number three, what scale do you model in? And finally, I'm looking for a new industry idea for my new industrial district. To register for the giveaway, go to the website listed here, www.midwestmodelrr.com forward slash giveaway. The form has all the questions listed on it. All you gotta do is fill out the form and it'll submit to my email address. 
The contest will be over Sunday, March 2nd at midnight, so please have your submission in before then. Here's the mill building as it sits today. I've gotten a little bit of paint on everything. I put washers on mostly and just continue to apply washes to get a little bit of the weathering effect that I have there. There's still a few more layers of paint to go on and then I've got to get the chalks out and start weathering with the chalks. <laughs> 